Hi again. Let's continue with this JavaScript uh, thing here, this shopping cart. And, you know, in the last couple videos, I added a function to, you know, add an item to the cart and remove an item from the cart. So, you know, the remove an item from the cart removes one item at a time. Let's add this other function down here called remove item from cart all. And the idea here is this function will remove you know, all of an item. So you just completely erase it from the cart without just, you know, subtracting one each time. So we'll uh, we'll put the keyword function in front, and then we'll add the curly braces here, you know, to uh, define our code block for our function. And this will take a name, right? And we'll say the name of the item that we want to remove. And when... Um, when we look at this remove item from cart, actually, you know, this does everything that we need to do, right? We just don't need to subtract one. We just need to find the item and then splice it out of the array, right? So let's do that down here. Let's say, you know, for var i in cart, like this, right? And then we'll say, hey, you know, if you know, we're looking for the item with this with this name right here, right? So we'll say if cart bracket i dot name equals name, then we want to remove that item from the cart. So we'll say cart dot splice, and what we want to do is we want to splice at position i. Right, because remember, i is going to be our index of the element in the array. And then we want to remove one item. Okay? And then we also want to break. Because, you know, if we remove that item from the cart, you know, there should only be one with this name, so there's no reason looking for any more. So break will quit the for loop early before it's done. Okay? So now we need a way to test this, right? Let's let's delete this last test we did, and um, and then <clears throat> let's go down here and let's set, let's add a few more items to the cart. I'm gonna move all these tests right here into one area just to make things a little easier to work with, right? Let's move them all down here. So here we're gonna add a, you know some items to the cart. Let's add a couple more items to the cart. So I'm going to make a few more items. So I got apples and pears, and maybe I'll make this one a uh, banana. Um, bananas are probably just a dollar, right? And maybe this will be, um, I don't know, how about um, a car? We need to buy a car. We only need one, though, and they probably like cost a lot, too, so like probably like $34 or something, right? And then um, and then what else do we need? We need a uh, plush toy. You know, um, these are probably worth like six bucks almost, right? And then uh, we only need one of those. And uh, well, we, maybe we need some sticky notes, right? And they're probably worth uh, a lot of money, right? So, um, so anyway, so we've got all these items here. And uh, let's, you know, um, let's kind of find out how many items we have in our in our cart, right? We're gonna have to write some better tests in the future now that we got you know a lot of functions here, right? So let's say cart dot length. Okay, so there's there's how many items we have in the cart. Oops. And oops, I forgot to spell it right. Length. Right there we go. Cart dot length. Maybe just for fun, we'll say console.log, and then this will show, you know, the entire cart, right? And then um, maybe we want to remove an item from the cart, okay? So we'll call remove all, or remove from cart all, okay? And then maybe we want to remove the car because it costs too much, right? So we'll say remove the car, and then what I'm going to do is I'll just, you know, log these two items again, 
Okay, so we'll log the length, and hopefully the length will change by one because we'll, we will have removed one of the items, okay? So let's do a quick test here. We'll refresh our page here. And you can see we have six items, and now we have five items. And here you can see I've got, you know, a one, two, three, four, five, six items, and then we've removed one, and now we've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can find the car just for fun. So I think the car was this one. No. Where is that guy? I, actually, you know, I don't see him here. You know what I think happens here? It's because this shows one, two, three, four, five, six. But when I open it up, <coughs> I really only have five items. And that's a little strange. But what I think is happening is that JavaScript in the console this this object is live so it's actually showing us the same object that we have down here even though it kind of printed it at this state at with six items since it was updated down here to five then when we open this up it really only just shows us the five that are currently existing in that item okay um, but you know if I open this one up you can see it says four and and the, the car seems to be missing right so you know I, th I think that's kind of working right um, you know, we might want to put some more tests in here, and if we were going to do more logic, like we had more, you know, programming stuff to do other than just this single line of splice, we might actually want to call remove from cart all from here inside the remove item from cart. So remember, when, when you remove an item from the cart, if the count gets down to zero, then we remove that item from the cart, right? So, you know, we might want to call remove from cart all from here instead. And then that way, you know, we could consolidate all the code that needs to happen when re you re completely remove an item from the cart instead of duplicating that code here and here. As it is right now, we just have the single line of code. So maybe it's okay to have these in the same, you know, separately here, each in their own spot, okay? But anyway, there we go. So now we got remove item from cart all. Okay, so now our cart's kind of coming together. Let's uh, let's save that and then we'll we'll call that a wrap and we'll do the other stuff in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.